All right. So if we can call you with Rick, man, how you doing? I feel good. I feel good. I'm uh, ready to play this uh, the show in Niagara Falls and. You know, just uh, ready, ready to play, man. I'm excited. First off, let me say congratulations, man. Thank you. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say, you know, I just, I just went through like a big moment in my life where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on tour. I flew home. I watched the birth of my daughter, and now, right now, to be back in, in Niagara Falls, like a day later, you know, I, I feel kind of anxious to go let some, let some emotion out on stage, man. So yeah, I for feel, sure. I'm pretty excited to play. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, that and everything's going great for you right now, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, Obviously, the birth and then that single is phenomenal. Thank you. You know what, man? I feel like excited about everything because you know we've been we've been operating at a certain way, um, you know, for the past seven eight years. You know, being on Virgin Records and doing everything and and the number one thing that we if, if after all of our years of experience, someone asked me like, what's the what's one of the things you would change? One of it for me is is I would have released more music. Right, right. And, you know, the mentality that we're in right now, you know, that's what we're doing. We're kind of doing things at a at a pace we want to do things at. So that's really what makes it exciting. You know, the single I get around is is, is awesome. The response has been great. But it's the picture is bigger than that for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like we're doing things differently at a rapid pace and we're trying a lot of things and we're being bold and... You know, we're, we're a lot of the things we hear people complain about. We're doing, and, and we're just saying fuck it and doing it the way we want to do, and and we're we want to see if if not only us but everyone puts their money where their mouth is. You know, we're trying something a way that people dream about trying it. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And people talk about it amongst each other, but never are willing to make the moves to make it happen. And and we're we're trying to do something. Every time we make a record, every time we put something out, we're trying to do something great. And this is the same thing. You know, if, if we succeed in what we're doing right now, this way we're doing it, it'll change for artists. Oh, yeah, definitely. And definitely. no one really realizes that because it hasn't happened to a magnitude of, a, of effect as it could yet. But if we come out and we put out, you know, an EP and a record and, and you know, we see the success we think we can have, and, and, and we don't really marginalize success by how much it sells and all these things. We, we, we're worried about filling rooms up, our headlining shows, right. people hearing it. Mm hmm we're focused on our, you know, we've had a great relationship with, with rock radio. Is rock radio going to step in and, and help us change things? Right, right. We're trying to get them, we're trying to make a change for the better of all, all musicians, and we're starting it with ourselves. Well, I mean, you guys are doing something that's basically unheard of. I mean, you're a game changer for sure. You don't really, people put out the EP and then they'll fuck around for a little bit and then they'll drop out an album, but you guys. St. Patrick's Day, the EP drops, and then... Dude, uh, we just put a record out July 29th. I now know, we're putting I an know. EP out. We're putting an EP out, you know, in March. And then we're going to put a record out in the summer. And then we're going to go back into the lab, and we're going to go into the garage, and we're going to write another fucking EP. And then we're going we're gonna, to... Until the day that we don't have the music pouring out of us, man, you know... Just keep hammering that shit out. We're, we're going to give people the best live show they've had, and, and we're going to give people records that sound... You know, we're going to blend it being different, and we also want it to sound, you know, uh, uh, connected to them. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, w when you mix those two things, that's where you'll really change the game. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like we're, we're trying to do that. We're trying to make songs that is shit you never heard before. You're like, whoa, these guys are fucking ripping. You know what I mean? They're playing badass. But we're also having songs that just absolutely connect with people on 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 the the music listening experience you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's 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 musicians and then it's songs combined that's what that's what we're looking to do well i mean you guys are definitely doing it i mean this is pushing and pushing and it's definitely paying off for you though too i mean look we've talked a lot of shit for years man i got a big mouth and we're we're a band with an attitude we really are all of us you close these doors and you take the camera away and you listen to our band talk in a room we got fucking we got attitude you know what I mean? We want something. We're 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 driven. We're on a mission, and uh, I think it's a matter of time until, you know, people people sense the the rebellion and the attitude, and and they sense what we're bringing to the table. You know what I mean? Through, through our music, through our actions, through our live show. I mean, when you watch us play live, dude, it's like, you know, we're not a band full of 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 anything less than real fucking rock guys. You know what I mean? Real yeah. real. 
you know what I mean? Like when I when I look at us, I see you know I see rock stars, dude. Definitely. You definitely, know what I'm dude. saying? Yeah, for and, sure. I mean, the, the show I've seen is it's phenomenal. I mean, there's you guys have a presence up there. Some thank of these you. dudes these days come out and it's just they're playing for the fucking check and it's just so yeah. We're, we're blowing you know those mean? guys off the stage, and I think it's a matter of time until until you know we're recognized for what we are, man. We're not yet. We're not recognized for what we are. We haven't received the respect that we deserve yet, and and we're trying to change that too. It's part of the change. Keep on doing what you're doing. It's definitely going to change. Thank you, brother. For sure. Uh, these days, touring is actually, you know, you got to keep on touring. you got to keep on getting out there. It's so hard for you as an artist to keep on putting them out and having all these kids, unfortunately, click a download button or something like that to keep yep. on going. You know oh, what Of I course. Mean? Don't even get me started on this, on this, man. It's like people today, some people today, some people don't, man. Some people are great and they let us know, like, I'm supporting you. You know, we're, we're supporting the movement. But some people today, you know, they, they, music isn't free and it shouldn't be free. And, it, you know, it costs a lot to operate and generate and create and do everything. I mean, everything costs us a ton to do. For sure. It shouldn't be free for everyone else after we do all that. And, and at the end of the day, you, you, we can't turn it into a hobby. Yeah, definitely not. You know, I mean, music has to be, music sure. has to be a career for, for the people it should be a career for. And when I think about a band that it should be a career for, we are one. So people got to buy our shit, man. Definitely. People got to buy Fucking our shit. Name, people got to see our shows. I mean, it's like the bottom line is, you know, you, the world needs rock stars right now, and, and, and you have them. And there's a couple. We're not the only ones, man. There's bands I see, and I'm like, these guys are fucking for real. You know what I mean? Right. But we're one of them. And at the end of the day, people, I don't care if they don't buy everyone's shit. You don't need to buy every shitty artist just to support music, dude. You need to buy the real ones and yeah, the good exactly. ones. And we're one of the fucking real good ones. So you, you, better buy you should buy our shit, shit man. That's you know it, what I'm man. saying? It's like to buy the shit from the people that deserve their shit to be bought. We're a band. People should buy our shit, man. Yeah. They should see our shows. Yeah, you should definitely. pay. If you ask someone to pay twelve dollars for what I do every night, for what my drummer does every night, for my guitar player does every night, it's like, dude, twelve dollars is nothing. Yeah, you know, I'm just well, being honest. No, I would I, pay. Hundred fucking percent. Dude, what right? I feel we do, like when I'm walk off stage, dude, I feel like magic just happened. Right. I feel like something majestic just hit the city we're in. And if you ask me, will you pay twelve dollars to see something majestic? I'll be like, yeah. Fucking. I'll a, give man. it to fucking you right a. now, dude. Yeah, for sure. That's what we do. Well, you know what the one thing is? I seen you guys are doing the pledge drive to, to push this new one out, and it yep, it's making sure that these kids are, you know what I mean? It is making sure, and also, dude, it gives us the, it gives us it gives us the the ability to, to have the attitudes we have, man. Not be pussified every step of the way. You know, when you're on a major label or you're on a place that's making all decisions for you, you can't make bold moves, man. You can't be something that people look at and go, "That band's dangerous," or "That band's," because they don't they don't you get. You get curved, man. You get governored. You know, like, you know how many times I've been on phone calls and they're like, you're fucking nuts. You need to shut up. You right, know what I mean? Right. And I'm like, no, this is, what, you know, this is this is what I think. You know what I mean? But yeah. instead, they just have us running through the same factory that of the other. They're saying the same things us are saying to 15 other bands. You know what I mean? Right. We're, we're, we're a different entity. We need to sometimes just be able to be and say and do what we do. Well, you guys ain't a cock. You know what I mean? Fucking a lot of these labels will say hey, you're, you're part of the roster and that's what is what it is. And... That's got to be the hardest thing in the world. It is. I mean? So that's why we did a pledge. We did a pledge so we don't have to answer those people, man. So we just make records. Make, you know, there, there are people who roadblock music. You know how many times we want to put music out to the fans and, and it's just sitting there and we couldn't because it's like there's no reason why we can't. Right. But we can't because we don't own it. So we we eliminated that. We If we want to put music out, we will. See, that's what's fucked, man. You're the one who took the time and you made the songs. You know what I mean? You yep. just put your heart into that shit. And then have someone to say, you know what? Uh, it's not yours. We nope. own that shit now. We own that shit. Yeah. What time is it? Can I get a time? 7.40. I get it ready. All right, man. I get it ready, dude. Cool. You're the fucking man. Time. You're dude, you're the man.